to today's STEAM adventure. My name is Frankie Fiber. And I'm Fiona Fiber. And, and we're together, we are the Fiber Friends. And we're so excited for you to join us today on our STEAM adventure. Hey Frankie, do you know what we're going to be learning about? Mm, not really. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure. What are we talking about today? Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite creatures. Spiders. Spiders and aprites? Where? I'm afraid of spiders. Wait, hold on. Ah! Wow, everybody, so sorry about that emergency. And Fiona, I'm sorry for flinging a spider at you. I just get scared sometimes. That's okay, Frankie. I'm not afraid of spiders anyway. Yeah, I think they're cool. Like, I really like spiders when they're far away and I kind of like look at what they're doing, but when they get close up, I'm just afraid because I don't know enough about spiders yet. Yeah, well, hopefully today I'll change your mind because we're gonna learn some really, really cool facts about spiders. That sounds so cool. Yeah, yeah. do you want to hear a cool fact about spiders? Yeah, let's hear a fact right now. Yeah, so there's a lot of spiders that you might see around your house. They're actually really helpful because when they're in your house, they're eating all the little bugs that might bug you. Or when they're outside in a garden or in a farm, they're eating the bugs on the plants and food that we eat. So they're actually helping them to keep growing. It's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah. And you know, some spiders, they eat almost 250 insects during a whole day. So imagine. Yeah. Don't you think they're so cool? Yeah, and they sound really helpful too. Wow, thank you so much for sharing. I feel myself beginning to get even a little bit less afraid. All right, everyone. I'm really excited to convince Frankie to love spiders, and we're gonna do some really cool activities today that are inspired by spider webs. So we're gonna make some super cool, spooky spider webs as part of our STEAM adventures. And in your kit, when you get one, you can find these materials. You're gonna find a piece of parchment paper, an awesome web template that you can use, some yarn, and some glue. And these are the materials you'll need to finish this project. And in order to get the materials, you could call your local Anaheim Library branch and just let them know that you'd like to request one and you'll get all the materials you need so we could do this activity together and you could play back this video at any time to do the activity over and over again. It's gonna be so much fun. So let's get started. So the first step in creating your web is that you're gonna grab your template. We're, Frankie, later on in the program, is gonna show you how to make another cool version of this, but I'm gonna start with the template that you get in your kit. And this is the template for an orb web, which we'll learn more about later. Basically, you grab your template, and you're gonna grab your piece of parchment paper and place that right on top of your template, just like that. All right, and then if you have some tape at home, you could tape down this to your table to kinda of help it stay in place. All right, and then we're gonna get started in building our web. So for this part of the activity, you'll need your glue. So your glue will look like this. I went ahead and put some glue. I poured it into a, an old plate that I had just to make it a little bit easier to use when we're doing this activity. But you could use it in the little cup also. Then you're gonna grab your yarn, just like this, and find the end of it. Mine's a little tangled. So you're gonna grab it and you're gonna grab a piece of yarn and kind of measure it over one of the parts of your web template. So see, so you can see the web through this parchment paper because it's clear. And we wanna use that to guide us in building our web. So go ahead and do that and then cut a little piece just like that. And then this is gonna be the really fun part because we're gonna get a little bit messy. You wanna dip your piece of web into your glue and you wanna get it really, really covered in glue, just like that. So it's nice and wet and it's kind of squishy, just like that. And then you can use your fingers and kind of pull off if there's a little bit of extra glue. And once you do that, you're gonna place it onto your template, just like that. So this is gonna be really fun. And you can think about how you want to build your web, right? What's the best way to put it together? I'm going to start by doing a little piece of the larger ones. So I'll go ahead and cut that one. All right, and then what do you think we should do next? Um, I'm thinking maybe this little piece. So I'm going to do that next. So measure it. Cut it. Oh, 
glue. I love the stickiness of the glue. It's really fun. I'm gonna keep doing, going and doing a few more pieces. So I'm gonna measure, cut, and dip it into the glue. And you can build it in any way you want. You don't have to follow the way I'm doing it. If you wanna do longer strips across the paper or start with the larger pieces, you could kind of experiment with how a spider might build a web. What do you think makes it the strongest? So that's a little uh, example of how the web will look as you're building it. And then once you fill up this whole page, this whole template, you're gonna place your spider web to dry. So if it's a hot day, you can place it outside and it should dry pretty quickly. But if you keep it inside, you might have to wait a day or two for it to be fully dry. So when you pick it up, it will be nice and strong and look like a super cool web. So now that we finished putting all the little webs onto your template, um, this one is dry, so I'm gonna show you how it looks like to peel off the web from the piece of your parchment paper. So you wanna peel it off really gently so you don't break the web. And let's do it, are you ready? All right. All right, we did it. So it looks like mine kind of is falling apart in a little bit of places, but that's okay because we're learning about what ways we need to build our spider web. So if that happens to you, you could try and do different forms or different ways of building it. And like I said, the spiders are like engineers, so you gotta figure out which pieces go together to make it really strong and durable. So let's, let's take a look and see what it looks like. Ooh, so cool! Wow, thanks so much Fiona for making that beautiful spider web using the orb web template. So cool. Did you know that included in your Steam kit and also online at our continued services page under our program for this Steam adventure, you can also find this really awesome handout that is from our friends Bay Nature. So they're this really, really awesome organization in the Bay Area that has all kinds of information about the environment and science and all kinds of steam related stuff. So they have actually a web page baynature.org slash spiders where you can learn so much more about spiders. And once you've learned a bit about them, you can see how they're all engineered differently and all of the structures of these different webs are different because each spider has different needs. Some spiders live underground and so they're gonna need something that's called a funnel web. So you can learn more about this. And Fiona and I really wanna encourage everybody at home to study this handout and draw your own web. You can design it inspired by one of these. One of the ones I really liked was the sheet web. So I studied the picture on the Bay Nature handout and I kind of sketched my own version of it. And then I, just like Fiona Fiber showed us, I put my, um, my string with a bunch of glue on parchment paper and I let it dry and this is what it came out looking like. And another example that I made is called a funnel web. So I looked at the handout and I was inspired to draw my own version of one. And then when I made it, it came out like this. And you can put a string on your web so you can decorate your house or your porch or you can give it to a friend, wherever you want to hang it. So you can learn more about webs and make them all kinds of different kinds. Sound good? Awesome. Wow, Fiona, I'm feeling even less afraid of spiders than before. Thank you so much for showing us how to make our own web. Yay, I'm so happy. And now we're gonna learn a little bit more in depth about how a spider builds its own web. So with me is my special guest, Sabrina the Teenage Spider. And she's gonna show us how she builds her web and all the different really cool parts of it. So we'll even learn to love spiders more. Okay, everyone, let's watch Sabrina build her own spider web! Hi, everyone. My name is Sabrina the Teenage Spider, and I'm here to show you how I build webs. Are you ready to take a look? Let's get started. So first, I put down 
a strand of my web just like this and I wait. I wait for some wind or something to carry it on to the next branch. There's the wind, there's the wind. Yes. Once it catches on to the other side, I put down my next strand of my web and I move it to the bottom of where my web's going to be. Just like that. It's happening, we're building the web. Can you all tell me what shape this is? Yeah, it's a triangle. Now the web looks like a triangle and it's in the middle of the tree. So now I'm gonna add in some more little pieces. Oh man, I'm so tired. Did you see, I just built this whole web. Sometimes building a web takes so much work that when I'm done, I actually eat my web so I can use it to build other webs and other trees. And I build this whole web using my back legs. Isn't that so cool? All right, there's one more step to finishing this web. Are you ready? Let's do it. Phew, Ooh, that was so much work. I just finished this sweet little spiral going around my whole web to complete this web called an orb web. And an orb web has these little different pieces of strings that make it look kind of like spokes and it spirals into the middle. And this string that goes around the whole web is super sticky. So now that I built it, I wait. And I wait for all the little bugs to come and once they come, they get stuck in my web and I gotta eat them. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you may have noticed, look, a leaf fell on my web. But you know something cool about me as a spider? I can actually feel the vibrations when bugs come. So I know that this leaf isn't for me to eat, but when a bug comes, I know it's ready to eat. So now I'm just gonna wait here till the next bug comes along. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot about spiders and webs and that you leave my web alone. Bye. Wow, thank you so much, Sabrina the Teenage Spider, for showing us how to make a web. That was so cool. Yeah. I'm really excited. How, do you, how are you feeling about your spiders, Frankie? You know what? Now that I've learned a bunch more, we've all learned so much, I'm feeling way less afraid of spiders. Guess what? What? I actually made a friend <gasps> during Ooh, this program. Yeah. Hi there. Oh, oh look, Frank. My friend's here too. about these friends and more, you can go to your local library and pick up some awesome books. Yeah, and some of you may have already picked some up via curbside service, but for anybody who hasn't, make sure you call your local Anaheim Library branch and you can pick up these books via curbside service. We also have a bunch more programs lined up for you this year, so you can see what's coming up next on our social media and also on our website on our continued services page. Awesome, thanks so much for joining us today. Bye. Have a good day.